Hey, David Skarika here. How you doing, everybody? Back on the beach. So when I was in Canada, I got some cool stories today, I think. Um, I, I don't know, I was playing, I got, you know, I, everyone knows I got this bum knee. Um, I was playing basketball with my little brother. I, I, basketball, all I could do is shoot. I can't dribble, I can't play defense, I can't run, you know, can't do the boards, but I, I was a great shooter, you know? Uh, Actually, I got a funny story about that. Hey, I got, I got, we'll, we'll relive memory lane here for a second. But anyhow, long story short with that is that um, I was playing with him, 21, and he's 15 now, and he actually was on the school basketball team. I still won. Um, but anyhow, I just the day, so that was like the day before I left back for the Bahamas, and then my knee was just killing me for about two to three weeks. I guess I've been back the 14th. So yeah, this... Yeah, yesterday would have been three weeks. And really two weeks, it was just killing me. I was hobbling around. You know, luckily I've been on a pretty good diet. Still lost weight. Down to 191 this morning. You know, when I was fat, it was 207. So happy about that. <clears throat> so, my knee just can't handle that. I probably uh, did a slight tear or, you know, uh, to a ligament or something like that. Cause okay now you know so but um and, and so like yeah i hurt for two weeks and then the, more, the next week i was like you know what i'm not taking any chance it's just this walk here is pretty brutal you can see this is what pisses me off you know people talk about global warming or climate change what pisses me off is this crap so we've got some huge storms over there in the atlantic there's another one called lee coming through it's not going to really hit the mainland but lee is going to be a monster cat five so it kicks up all this surf so then all this crap comes in from the ocean. And because there's no land till Africa there, you know, um, um, you know, you just see the crap that people throw off boats and it's disgusting, you know? So anyhow, um, the story about basketball was before I get back into this is, um, um, we were playing 21, like bounce, I think it's called, you know, it's where one guy shoots and then if he doesn't get it in, then the other guy shoots, and then you, if you get it in before him, you know, he gets bounced out of the game. And I was like a pretty average to mediocre athlete. It's okay long distance runner, good tennis player. I was good soccer goalie. But you know, I was just like in the middle, it's average, you know, uh, in high school. And you know, in the gym class, there's all these tall guys, they're on the basketball team, and you know. And I won it once, well, I won it <coughs> one time, and there was this guy. He was the coolest guy, and his name was Mr. Cool. He was our gym teacher. Kind of that very stereotypical thing for a gym teacher. And he was cool, and he was outgoing, and, you know. Uh, anyhow, so I just remember when I won, he said, there's a new sheriff in town, and his name is Skarika. And everyone was, like, laughing. So that's about the highlight of my, you know, athletic career in high school. <laughs> Sorry to bore you with that. Um, <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. If I cough once in a while, I'm just a little clogged up. So anyhow, um, yeah, with, the, with this, so when this happens too, the surf kicks up like this. You can't surf this. It's the undertow, it's too rough, it's too choppy. You know, um, I'll tell you, no, I'm going to leave this for another story for another time. It's about these rocks, you know. So, um, well, maybe I will tell that story. Okay, so let's do this other one first. So there's an area called the Queen's Baths. If you watch the videos I did with Barstool, I go there with uh, Donnie, Wonton Don. And um, it's just basically, basically rocky areas like this, and the, and the surf comes in, and it creates like these little pools, right? But when it's too rough, these, these, sma these waves smash up on there, and they can like swipe you right off. So a few years ago, there was a low pressure system out in the ocean. It was so weird because it wasn't stormy. It was perfect. And, but it just caused the... And it was a, also a, you know, a full moon, which also raises the ocean levels. And this kid got washed over. I remember being at this little restaurant. And the cops were there. His parents flew in. And they were like, oh, he's a lifeguard. He's a small, strong swimmer. Um, I'm sure he found a way to get back in shore. And I was like, no, man. I've, been, I've lived here... A long time. Sorry, he's gone. And then this little pool of water was created, this lake in this this area where they dug it out. 
and they used this sand, you know, for concrete. So it just become like a big sand pit. And it became like this big lake during this, you know, um, uh, they call them rages during this rage. And they basically found the kid's body in like a bunch of different pieces. He probably got smashed up on the rock. So I know that's not exactly the most entertaining story. Actually, and it's just because of this, like same thing. You know, it was really bad, you know, at that Queen's Baths. And some guy got washed over and he's probably dead now. <coughs> I haven't heard the update. It just happened this past weekend. So you don't screw around with nature. I got no use for the Queen's Bath or any of these dangerous areas when the ocean is angry, you know? So, um, so the last story about these kind of rocks here is... So everyone knows, like, I'm kind of a, I guess this is a story day, you know, I, I'm a big football fan. So I'm at this little liquor store I go where I get my beer, champagne, booze, whatever. This is back in, like, June. This huge guy comes in this, like, weird RV, like, open, I don't even know what it was, Jeep kind of thing, you know? And, um, the guy's, like, six foot eight, 260 pounds. So I'm like, this is, you know, usually, <coughs> I'm not too talkative. I know talking of here, but not like, like, like especially when I meet new people. Because here it's always the same thing. You know, well, how'd you get to the Lutra? It's like the same damn story all the time. So I see this guy, and he's like, you know, huge. So we start striking. He's like, oh, is the liquor store open? We're like, no, it just closed. We're just leaving. We just get in a conversation. He's like, hey, I'm like, hey, man, where are you from? He's like, oh, I'm from Mississippi. He's like, oh, what's your name? He goes, Todd. And I go, well, what do you do for a living, Todd? He's like, oh, my name is Todd Wade. I used to be the starting right tackle for the Miami Dolphins. You know, I'm a football nut. So I'm like, you know, um, he tells me the years he played. He was a second round pick. Played from um, 2000 to 2003. And then he played uh, for Houston. Then he played for Washington. So I'm like, 2000? Um, that year you played the Raiders in the playoffs. And the Raiders won 27 nothing. And it's got to be Tory James, the cornerback. Got an interception return touchdown. And he's looking at me like, who is this lunatic who knows these stories? And, you know, remembers football games from 23 years ago. You know? So, um, anyhow, it's kind of funny, you know? Uh, so, anyhow, the story with those rocks with him is that he's, you know, he's got a house here on the ocean. And he was surfing. And, um... It was day like this. It was rough. Got smashed up on the rocks. This guy, like I said, six foot eight, two hundred sixty pounds. And some guy who's like my size. I'm like six foot, like I said, about one ninety. Um, pulled him out. Must have been adrenaline or whatever. Yeah, and he just kept getting because he was unconscious. So he just boom kept getting smashed up and smashed up. So uh, anyhow, okay. So let's go to the stock chart of the day. Um, Thursday we're gonna have some updates on some companies. Uh, because I digressed here today. I'm doing an interview. I'm doing this Tuesday. I'm doing an interview Wednesday with uh, Inca One. We'll talk about them and uh, our uh, um, newfound gold had some more good results. But anyhow, um, we're gonna look at the VIX today. And this is quite simply is the VIX is back at, you know, went back to the lows and the market was nowhere near its highs of the summer. And I think that's a really negative divergence. Sign of total complacency. Investors aren't worried about these higher rates. China's slowing down big time. So the question is, is the VIX volatility index <coughs> showing us mass complacency? So that's the stock chart of the day. It was really more story time. Um, but you know, I haven't been down here in a while. So I'm going to turn this off because nine minutes is about long enough. And uh, so stock chart of the day is the VIX. Some cool stories about the ocean, football players. Um, yeah, I guess, I hope you found them entertaining. My, my athletic prowess or lack of when I was a teenager. Everybody take care, bye.